What's going on guys? Today I have a ZTE Avid Trio model Z88 Z833, excuse me, and it's on a Metro PCS. As you can see, this device is currently Google account locked off. Some of you guys out there might be in the same situation, you just don't know your password or email altogether or if you just bought this phone. Uh but not to worry, there is a uh, solution to this. Uh what you'll need is just a steady Wi-Fi connection. Now, once you have that, uh you got to get to the to the welcome screen all the way back you get here now we got to activate talkback to do so put two fingers on the screen continue touching the screen until you hear a beep to enable accessibility mode accessibility mode and talk back on accessibility and we're just going to exit out of here exit button and then once you're back up to, back to the welcome screen you can make a u overview there we Application go location info google should come up at the top google search App. Now, once you're at the Google page, you're going to deactivate TalkBack using volume down and up at the same time. There we go. Now, these options are to either deactivate or activate TalkBack. Okay, once you're here, you're going to type L and get the Lookout app to pop up. L should, should be enough. Here you go. Lookout should come up. And get started. Now, you're going to... What you're gonna do is uncheck four boxes like this one, one, and the next three. Now, once you get to the new user, existing user, you're done. Just go to the back, or go back to the Google screen. Now, you may end up at the Google screen or the welcome screen, whatever the case may be. Uh, if you end up at the Google screen, just sit tight. If you end up at the welcome screen, just like this. We're going to activate talk back again. Talk back resumed. And they make a U. Overview. Okay. Application. Google search. Google app. Deactivate it again. Keyboard. Showing five suggestion. Okay button. Talk and back then suspended. from here, you're going to type YouTube. Why should be enough. There we go. Later. Uh, at the top right hand corner there should be three dots those are the settings options and look for privacy policy now you should be taken to a different google screen now the one beforehand it, it won't allow you to download now if you come here this will allow you to download uh, touch the google logo or shoot there we go and from here you're going to type test dpc test D P C now there's different versions of test DPC out there I recommend that 3.0.11 this is the most effective one and it should be the first link as you can see apkmirror.com Now, I'm just trying to explain this as best as I can. There may be some of you guys out there that have never done this before. And this is the first. Now, once you get to this page, you're going to simply scroll down to the bottom. Where it says download APK. Now, it's not going to be begin downloading up until you update permissions. Once you update permissions and allow, it should begin downloading. Just give it a second. Here we go. Update and allow. And okay for it to begin downloading. Now if it now if it does begin downloading, you're gonna click here again to uh, redo the process and it should begin downloading. Once it's down downloading, uh it should come up with an option on the bottom right hand corner to open the file. Here we go. hit settings from here before you can you can un install you gotta al allow unknown sources once this is activated go back and then let's re reinstall it again here we go except open from here you're going to select set up device owner 
setup and OK. Once you hit OK, you're going to see the top menus to start changing. That's the file itself installing. What you can do is hit back again. You may end up at the Google screen, you may end up at the welcome screen with this. Uh, don't panic. We're going to activate talk back again. Talk back resumed. And then a U. Overview. Google app. Google search. Google app. Showing text keyboard. Showing five. OK button. OK button. Talk back system. From here, you're going to type settings. S should be enough. Settings should come up. Now, once once you have the file installed, uh, go to backup and reset. Now, if if you tried resetting without installing that file, you're gonna be back to square one where it's asking for an email. But once you follow these steps and you hit factory reset, the phone would automatically begin erasing all files on the device, and uh, it, it should begin optimizing now. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, simply uh, go straight to the menu and uh, and do another factory reset. You, now you don't necessarily have to do it, but I would recommend it just to uh, to uh, delete all information that was installed or other information that that might have been on there. So I would I would recommend to do another reset once you get to the menu. Now you don't have to watch uh, from here, but if you do, just just keep patiently waiting because this does take a couple of minutes uh, if you found this video feel helpful guys don't forget to like and subscribe I'm still trying to build my subscriber base so that way I can add more videos here we go And here you set it up. You set up your select your language. Now you don't necessarily have to connect to Wi-Fi if you don't have Wi-Fi, but I'm gonna connect to Wi-Fi. Now once you're connected, there we go. Skip. No thanks. Like I said. I'm just going to uh, skip straight to the menu. Uh, now this time, you know, it asks me to sign if I, if I want to. Okay, permissions and allow. And as you can see, we're here at the menu screen. Um, you're free to do whatever you choose. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, I do recommend you do a another factory reset just to be sure that everything is deleted. Now, once you do the 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 other or another reset, you should be fine. Set it up put your personal information if you want but from here you should be good now again if you guys found this video helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching